All right, folks, it's time for video game segment. I am recording this by myself because uh, I had to record this a little bit later than I thought I was going to, largely because that of, uh, well, partially entertaining my niece and nephew, and also because of the news that uh, you all have probably no doubt heard about right now. You've probably also heard the mini about it. Uh, the passing of Satoru Iwata. I've shared my thoughts there in the mini, and I would, of course, would like to uh, encourage you all to remember him in your own way. And uh, if you want to, share your thoughts uh, with us on all the various different ways of uh, your memories of Nintendo games that Iwata's worked on. Um, if you need a list of that, uh, the... Uh, Nintendo Wiki, uh, nintendo.wikia.com, has a list of the games that has had his name on it uh, on, under the Satoru Iwata entry. So look through there. goes all the way back to NES Open Tournament Golf, which is one of the first games I ever played for the original uh, Nintendo Entertainment System and is uh, one of the games that I have the deepest nostalgic connection to. Which, like I said in the MIDI, I pretty much literally my entire life I've been a Nintendo fan, and largely due to his work. As for what we're playing, uh, really the most notable thing is that I got to play uh, Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 8 with my niece and nephew. Also a little bit of uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 as well on my uh, 3DS. Wonderful thing about the Virtual Console is that uh, you can basically kind of do a save states type thing like you would with a uh, emulator on a, on a PC, which is really, really helpful for uh, counteracting gaps in skill ability. Which, since I was in World 7, I need it. Very much. Uh, new releases for the week. Uh, the most notable new releases this week would be uh, God of War 3 Remastered for the PlayStation 4. Uh, that will be out uh, on Tuesday the 14th. Rory McIlroy PGA Tour for the Xbox One and PS4, also July the 14th. And uh, the expansion Awesome Level Max uh, for the game Trials Fusion for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, also July the 14th. Uh, so as far as that week goes, that's really the most notable new releases out there. Uh, one of the other games that I did play this past week was a game uh, available on iOS and Android called Final Fable. It's one of those typical, you have a certain amount of energy and you can use that energy to spend to do certain tasks kind of games. It's from a company called I Got Games. And uh, the storyline of it is that uh, the king of a land called Fantasia, uh, King Aesop, wants you to go and basically help save the land by rebuilding various different fables and stories. The thing is, the stories are not what you would remember them to be. Uh, you can select uh, one of two characters. You can either select a male character, Richard, to be your player character, or the female character, Electra. I played, I picked Electra. Yeah, you can battle various different characters from, again, various different legends, fables, and stories. The battles are largely automated, though. Basically, all you do is you set up what characters that you have, which are, again, based on various different fables and stories and whatnot. You select those characters, you arrange them how you want to arrange them for uh, optimal combat ability on, on this little circle grid, with one of them being the leader figure in the center. And you can chain them together to get uh, better synergy across each other. And, uh, they all have uh, special attacks that they have this blue bar that builds up underneath their health bar over time as they are attacking and taking damage. And once that gets to full, you can tap on those characters to unleash their special ability, which usually either does massive damage on one enemy or does quite a bit of damage over the entire enemy group. But again, uh, you can also 
set up battles to where at a certain level your characters do those special attacks automatically. There are also some that do healing uh, when their special bar is full, and you will definitely want to have those in your party as well. You start with uh, 60 energy, but you can quickly build up that amount of energy higher and higher and higher. You can actually also have a surplus of energy. Uh, last time I played this particular game, I had probably about double my initial energy, if not close to triple. So you're probably not going to run out of energy anytime soon, at least not uh, when you're starting off the game. During battle, you can also uh, rotate heroes in and out. When you put them on the sidelines, they can regain uh, health points to uh, help them heal. So that's way you can kind of keep your heroes alive throughout the battle. But again, you can set it up where it's automated, where it switches them out as necessary. When you beat battles, beat certain uh, chapters and parts of the story, you will get little pieces of equipment. You can use that to upgrade your characters to higher tiers and uh, make them even stronger. And you can also upgrade their skills by paying some of the gold that you get. You can also purchase items with gems, which some of which you can get from the battles, and some, of course, you can pay money to get certain things, because as these games are known to be. They have microtransaction capabilities. I never did use the microtransaction capabilities when I was playing through. I just played through uh, just uh, free-to-play style. Uh, this is much like how some mobile slash Facebook games are. There are social elements to them as well, so that you can get friends in and meet people, help each other out, go in and help people uh, fight bigger monsters and such, and send them items to help them along their way. There's the usual daily bonus stuff, where if you go in every day, you'll get uh, special bonuses. And yeah, that's about it. I know it's not a very in-depth review, but honestly, mobile games, most mobile games, unless you really, really spend a lot of time with them and take a whole lot of notes, which unfortunately I did not have time to do for obvious reasons, there's not a whole, whole, whole lot of depth to them, and a lot of them are very derivative of each other. You know, a lot of them will have similar mechanics set in different universes. So, there's only so much you can say about one game without basically saying the same thing for everything other games. So don't expect me to do mobile games like this very often unless I find one that is uh, more unique. Because, like I said, otherwise it's just going to be, you know, review week after week of basically saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. I I'm trying to keep these weekly reviews mixed up a little bit, you know, to uh, keep, them, keep them interesting. Really, that's all I've got for this particular segment. Coming up next on the oldest established permanent floating segment, time to break out some tech news once more. So, we'll see you then. If you like what you're hearing and would like to hear more, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. Also feel free to like and share this video, and check out Casual Mode Podcast for more episodes.